Hey, and welcome back to another video and it's day 24 of the 31 day challenge. And today we're going to be adding on to the YouTube service that we created a couple days ago where we transcribe videos just from a video URL. Now we're going to have Autogen summarize that and then send that into a format ready for email. We'll simply tell it to send to somebody's email and it's going to do that for us. Basically going to have a prompt that says, can you send an email to my email with the post created above, which will be formatted for email. And then it'll look something like this. So let's get started. All right, the first thing you'll need is to have a credentials.json file, which is basically set up from the Gmail service. So if you go to this link, which I'll have in the description, you just go here and you'll follow this. It took me only about five minutes. Once I had it, it just downloads a credentials.json for you, which then you just put in your directory here. I'll have the requirements.txt for you so you can have all of these imports. We just set up our environment properties. So you need to get your credentials first, right? So this piece of code basically takes your credentials.json and it'll create a token so that locally it will allow you to send an email. So we're going to build an API resource, which is from a LangChain utility. And then the toolkit comes from the Gmail toolkit, which is from LangChain as well. And that's kind of just the setup that we need. All right, I'm going to use this video from IBM as well that talks about LangChain. So I'm going to put that video in here because we have a function called get transcription from YouTube video. So if we go into here, this is in my functions.py file. And all this does is take a video URL and then returns the transcription from that video. So now we have the text from that video that we're going to use as context for the autogen to create a summary of. And then I have the config list and the LLM config. Then we have two agents. We have a writer assistant agent and then the user proxy agent. And now, and then I have one function call, and this really is what does uh, the brunt of the work for us. I have a function called email blog, which the content is the YouTube transcription, which will be passed into here. Now, the only thing about this is I could not get this to work with a local LLM. You can have the LLM config, you can have that set up with Olam or LM Studio or any other local server, but uh, with there's a previous uh, version of LLMs from LangChain, you can use chat open AI, which basically only allows you to use OpenAI's API. There is a new one called just OpenAI, which allows you to bring in a base URL and a model as well, which means that you can use a local server. However, I tried so many different ways to use that here, but I kept getting errors. So I just I just stuck with using OpenAI's API here, which is the chat OpenAI. And then I call this Markdown Library, which converts a Markdown string to HTML and then returns HTML as a Unicode string. I found that Autogen is great at formatting in Markdown and not so much in a, a regular email formats. So I kind of had this function do all that for me. And this next bit of code is basically where we are going to be sending the email from the Gmail LangChain service. So what I want to do is ask, can you send an email to my email from the post created above, which will be the content coming in. And it should end with sincerely Tyler. And we don't want to CC anybody. If I, I found out that if I don't have this here, it'll attempt to CC. And because I don't have any other emails for it to CC, it just kind of errors out. So I had to kind of change up the prompting so I don't get those errors. And finally, we just initiate chat with the writer. And I want to create a blog post with the following YouTube script with the title, outline of the main points, and then paragraphs explaining and summarizing the script. Make sure this is formatted with Markdown. Okay, well, let's run this and see what it gives us and see if it actually sends to my email. All right, so I think I executed this like two, three minutes ago, which was like at 1242, 1243. Um, and it looks like it did summarize uh, the YouTube transcript anyway. So it took the script, which was about LangChain, right? So LangChain revolutionizing LLM applications. Now let's just check my mail to see if I got it. And if I look in my email, yeah, it was sent at 1244 and it's about LangChain revolutionizing LLM applications. Right, and th this is in a readable format through email. I've now been able to take a YouTube URL and then have AI take that, transcribe it with LangChain, and then we can have Autogen agents take that, convert it into a readable format for the email through a function call, and then actually send the email. And that's amazing. Imagine if you had a Flask server that could grab a different YouTube video about AI every day, and then send that as either a newsletter or send that to um, you know your friends, emails, whatever it is. But this could be scheduled and automated every day. And here's another video that I can actually have automated because I know it's not easy to watch all these YouTube videos because you wanna learn so much especially learning at regular speed, which I tend to watch things at one and a half to two times speed, depending on what it is. But this can actually help you get an idea of what they're talking about. When the last leg of this challenge, 
Thank you for sticking with me if you have so far. If you even joined at whatever point, just thank you for watching these videos. Here's a playlist on another video. Please watch them, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.